All right, how you doing? It is the radio guy, the Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show, brought to you by the way of the Open Mic Broadcast Network, coming to you Monday through Friday. Most times we hit you at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, or at least as close to it as possible. I want to remind you that our social media channels are at the Mike Prince Show, and that's for Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, the YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network. And of course, the website is obnradio.com. And without any further delay, we'll jump right into today's episode. Basketball action took place last night on the hardwood for both the men and the women. The men fall short, losing to University of North Carolina, Greensboro, by the score of 74 to 66, Panthers dropped to one and four on this young season. They will reconvene on the 21st and the 23rd. Panthers will take on East Carolina University on the 21st. 6 p.m. will be that tip-off time. That game can be viewed on ESPN3. And on the 23rd, They'll take on Georgia Tech. That'll be a 3 p.m. tip-off. You can follow that game on the ACC network. So the Panthers will be trying to regroup and get things back on the happy trail. Started out with the season opening win against Santa Clara. And they're now losers of four in a row. Meanwhile, on the home court, The Lady Panthers were victorious over the Lady Patriots of University of Arlington Baptist. Lady Panthers really, really no problems at all taking on the Lady Patriots. Final score was 105 to 31. We'll hear now from Coach Sandy Pugh on her post-game recap. And we'll continue further on. All right, we got Coach Sandy Pugh. Uh, win, mighty win tonight over uh, University of Arlington uh, Baptist. We know, well, we guess, let's get a recap first, and then we'll go into a little detail. Well, um, we came out, I thought we came out a little sluggish. Uh, missed a lot of little easies. Uh, out of position, didn't box out, uh, did a lot of things that un- uncharacteristic. But, you know, a lot of people can say it's a hangover from the previous game. It, it's uh, not being able to go up and down the court like we normally would have. Uh, we didn't get a chance to get a good shoot around in today at all. And then, too, the holidays are looming. So kids are really excited about being able to go home. A lot of parents were here. So that, that creates a distraction in and of itself. But, um you know, all in all, I'm just I'm just happy we were able to come out and um, get it going. You know, I was able to play the end of the bench, so uh, those kids got a, a chance to get out and show what they can do. So, you know, all in all, it was a good night. All in all, a good night. As you were mentioning, it was a little bit of sluggish, and you got a lot of rotation in. And a lot of people, the novice fan, they look at it, oh, man, 105 to 31. But from that, that meticulous manner in which you coach your teams, from – here to now is is you saw a lot of things that can stand some improvement what do you focus on tonight that you need to see improvement on from the team well we need to improve defensively we definitely need to do a better job of guarding basketball um on ball and off uh, post defense uh, needs to a lot of work post players presenting themselves and um transition defense will allow them to get some shots up in transition that we shouldn't have and uh, boxing out, that's definitely a biggie. So made that list. You know, we're going to get ready to work on that. And um, hopefully when we come back, getting ready for the tournament down at Rio Grande Valley, we'll be ready to go. Absolutely. Coach Sandy Pugh and the Lady Panthers having no problems tonight against the Lady Patriots. Coach, uh, when you summarize this game in the measure to your last game against Oklahoma State, uh, night and day as far as what you were faced up against, where do you see your team overall right now? Um, you know, we're, we're still a work in progress. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when I tell you, the kids have had to learn a massive amount of information. Mm-hmm. And they're trying to put those pieces that, of information together and do it at a pace 
that you know that's pleasing to the team and then can work cohesively. So we, we still have a long way to go. Mm -hmm. uh, by no no stretch of imagination or we'll finish product. Absolutely. So, uh, Absolutely. But we just have to keep working, doing the little things, keep teaching. I think they'll be fine. Well, I, I always know that, that a Sandy Pew team is a post led team. You like to do your cuts and everything, but you got that always had a dominant figure in the post and you were able to rotate your three posts in today with yeah. some pretty good regularity. Yeah. Well, you know, Artavia Ford, you know, she she came in as a fifth-year kid, and you know, she's been starting for us, doing a good job defensively, offensively. Uh, and we just kind of had our little rotational pattern going in, you know, one for one, one for one. But, you know, as we go down the road, we're going to have to work out schemes where we can play uh, two of those bigs together and, you know, and, and continue to stay in a rhythm. Like I said, we're still a work in progress. These kids are still learning how to gel and play together. Um, but we're getting better each and every day. Um, we're starting to make shots. You know, I was happy to see Dom step up and hit some buckets. So uh, we got to continue that cycle. And I think we'll be all right. And, of course, that was Coach Sandy Pugh with her recap of last night's performance with the Lady Panthers victorious over the Lady Patriots. And if you're listening to the tone of her voice, uh, she's still looking for some better execution out on the court. Yes, it was a huge win, and to be quite honest, um, was expected facing the opponents of the Lady Patriots. However, uh, I'm, I'm loving the meticulous approach in which Sandy Pugh is setting this thing up. We'll give you a quick rundown of the scoring totals from last night. You heard her make mention of Dominique Newman. She led all scores. She had 20 points on the night. She was followed by 18-point performance by Miss Jordan Penniman. She had quite a few players who had 10 points, but Miss Shayla Dobbins was third leading in scoring. She had 11 points on the night. She had 10 points from Octavia Ford. She had a big post presence. 10 points by Aaron Willis. 10 points by Jariah Cobb. 9 points by Miss Keisha Williams, and seven points by Passion Burrell. So the Lady Panthers improved to 2-1 and one on this young season. They will next hit the hardwood on November 30th, Texas Rio Grande Tournament down in Edinburgh, Texas. And they'll get ready to try to improve upon their young season. Basketball is among us, but don't forget we have still Another football game to be played this week against Texas Southern. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back to talk about football in the world of HBCU. You listen to the Mike Prince Show right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Reach more potential customers through our sports radio package by dialing 832-213-8824. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Listen to The Mike Prince Show weekdays on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back to the Mike Prince Show, coming to you daily right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We're getting into the holiday season. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. As a matter of fact, it's right down the hallway. It's not even around the corner. It's that close to us right now. Of course, that brings about a very much celebrated game that has become somewhat of a tradition in the world of HBCU, and that is the Bayou Classic. It will feature... The Grambling State Tigers taking on the Southern Jags. The winner will be awarded the opportunity to face the Alcorn State Braves in the SWAC football championship game December 1st. But oh, by the way, in case you hadn't heard, there's another big rival game coming up, and that's going to feature the Prairie View A&M University Panthers hosting the Texas Southern Tigers. And although there are no playoff implications on this game, this is definitely 
the Pride Bowl between these two established universities. Both teams are struggling at this moment. However, all records are thrown out the window. All injuries miraculously become healed. And it's all or nothing. This is your season. Yes, it's not going to be a winning season for neither one of them. But the bragging rights are definitely on the table. And it will all take place Saturday, November 24th at 1 p.m. The final game of the 2018 campaign led by the ghost himself, Eric Dooley. Panthers with a chance to really bring it home good. Big win over Alabama State, 66-13. to A lot of people say that Alabama State were dead men walking. Whatever the case would be, I'll take the win. But I definitely need this Texas Southern win. It's not a want. It's a need. I'm getting that drastic. And speaking of drastic, in case you had not heard, head coach Mike London has resigned as the Howard Bison head football coach, and he'll be taking on the head coach responsibilities at William & Mary. A lot of controversy behind this move for Coach London. A lot of people from Bison Nation are disappointed. In fact, so disappointed that they've begun to take personal shots toward Coach London. And that could be somewhat crossing the line when you start challenging a person's X's and O's that's fair game you start challenging their schemes that's fair game but when you begin to attack a man's integrity and his quote unquote blackness could be a little bit across the line we'll get a chance to speak with coach London here real soon to hear his side of the story that's what we do here at the Mike Prince show We don't whisper about it. We talk about it. And we thank you all for having an ear to hear what we would have to say. Some things you'll agree with, some things you won't agree with. That's part of the human nature. But one thing we do ask, if you just listen with reason and think with logic, what doesn't sound right might just be right. If you take the time to weigh the facts, I must exit. My time has come for me to say Arrivederci for today. I'm exiting stage left, reminding you that our social media handles are at the Mike Prince Show for Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast network need to subscribe to that today we're working on some content that would be youtube only so you don't want to miss that and the website of course is obnradio.com we do have a 24-hour message line that you can dial in at any time and leave your thoughts comments questions or concerns until the next time you guys be blessed And we'll see you on the other side.